hello guys this is Ahmed GHL boy and today I'm going to show you how to allow your customers to download a PDF on a form submission so let's just dive into it and see how it works the first thing that you have to do is upload the PDF into your media library inside go high level so for that we have to navigate to media storage and here you can also create a folder or you can directly upload a file so I have my ebook so I'm gonna upload it into the media library because I'm gonna need the link of this ebook in the future so let me actually just duplicate it and okay now the next step is we need a form right so on the form submission we can uh, automatically download the PDF as soon as the form gets submitted for that we at least need to have a one form so I have already created a form that is called download PDF and mine one is very simple and the basic one with the first name last name email and phone but you can always more fields if you want to once you have completed your form the next step is we have to add an element which is called HTML so you can find that here right there and you can place it anywhere inside your form and what you have to do is you have to put a code inside in it and I have that code ready I'm gonna drop the uh, code in the description of the video so you can get it from there and also this code is an open source this is not linked to our server or anything so your data is kind of safe so it's like an open source if you're a developer you probably know what does it mean by but so you can you know openly use this code and then once you have do that there are two settings that you can play around with this the first one is mandatory when you scroll down you will see a URL of the PDF so here uh, uh, you need to copy your own PDF for that we can go in here I can just get this link of the PDF I can go in here so just make sure you don't remove any other comma or quotation marks so just be very careful with it so if you see in the beginning and in the initial we have the quotation mark so just paste the URL of your PDF and then if you scroll down uh, you will see an other so here is the downloaded file name so what should be the name of the file when it's being downloaded so and then again here just make sure right now the name is ebook.pdf so just make sure you don't remove anything if you want to change so I'm gonna just name it as let's say my first ebook okay so you can uh, put the name of the downloaded file once you save it you can save the form and here I would like to suggest you something so just make sure uh, it's not mandatory but that's kind of my suggestion to turn on this feature which is validate phone number so that they don't put any wrong number and you know the same thing for the email I would like you to turn this on but if you don't turn it on that's fine the downloading thing is still gonna work but I do you know we really don't want our customers to just, just put in the fake phone numbers or fake emails because we are giving them an ebook for free so we really don't want to have their actual valid phone numbers and emails so that's my suggestion to turn these both of these two on but right now for the testing purpose I can just turn them off so once we save this now it doesn't matter if you use this form outside of go high level like on any third-party website maybe WordPress or somewhere else it's still gonna work but you can always use this in like the direct form link you can always use this direct link from the preview or you can also embed this on a funnel so I'm gonna show you to once I put that into a funnel so here I am my dentist funnel I can just edit it just to make sure I have embed this form onto a funnel as well but again it's not mandatory you can always use the direct link of the form or you can always embed this form on your WordPress or outside of the go high level website as well so in all cases the download thing is gonna work okay and here I have this form let me just see yeah so this one is the download form which I have used so when I take the preview of this so let me just submit this so let's say my name is YouTube boy actually that's my 
last name and the phone number I'm gonna put anything and then I can just put test at ghlboy.com so now I'm just gonna submit this as soon as it gets submitted see the file has been downloaded which is my first PDF my first ebook PDF and so this is like the basic stuff that you can see. but I would like you to suggest something here as well which is what I would recommend you to do is you can go to media storage library and get this link and go to form I'm gonna actually put the URL of the PDF or my ebook on the form submission as well so when the form is submitted it will get the ebook downloaded and also it will open up this uh, you know this PDF so for that I'll go to option and here on submit I want to open up a URL and then I can just put the URL of the my ebook here once I save there we go and now when I just reload it I'm gonna submit this again last name is and okay and also if I just click on button now nothing is gonna happen because the form has not been submitted yet so test at t.com now when I click on submit so see now the PDF is being open as well so in this case you can always put the link of the PDF as well so hopefully this is gonna help you a lot and uh, if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get any update related to go high level see you in the next video have a good day bye